Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are Moro Moon, the mutated human marauder. Uh, and where are we? We're on a quest, right? We're on our second uh, beginning quest to find the hallowed water skin at this a snapjaw fort. So we're gonna uh, be a bit careful. Okay. Snapjaws. Ooh, a carbide dagger. That's interesting. I feel like maybe with the latest update, I feel like they've had, Snapjaws have had slightly better equipment than they usually do at the beginning of the game. What was that noise? Um. Oh, we are, yeah, we picked up a copper nugget there. All right, there's some madness going on here. Oh, the glow crow is fighting the... Ooh, that was... That was loud. Um, fighting the giant dragonfly. I, I, I'll let them uh, kill each other. Can I butcher these things? No, can't butcher the glow crow corpse. Are we hungry? We are. Let's whip up a meal. Although, didn't I have... um? Yeah, we have a hind leg and a hind foot and an arm, and we didn't use them for cooking. Maybe you don't always have the option. Here's the water skin. Uh, am I supposed to? I'll take it anyway. Okay, good. We got convalescence there in that water skin. Uh, where is it? Quest items. What does convalescence do? I've, I think I've drank it before. Uh, it adds, oh, simple cold-based or simple regeneration and healing-based effects to cook meals. Okay. Well, cool. We got some experience there. I feel like while we're here, we might as well clear out the Snapjaw Fort for the XP and the loot. Oh, yeah. This is fine because the hunter... Ooh. Um, we have here... Uh, Doug, Doug, Ugg, Olu, Guago, the Callus Snapjaw Gut Spiller. Um, oh. What abilities do you have? Doesn't say. I mean, you're a swarmer. You don't seem that difficult. I do want to take... <sighs> okay. I just didn't want that, uh, hunter firing arrows at us. But now that there are Snapjaws between us, this is fine. Um, let's fire at this guy. I hit him for five damage. Um, I would charge him, but yeah, I, I don't want any space for other snapshots to get. Let's charge him now. Cleaved. Excellent. Uh, let's dismember you. We cleave through your armor again. We chopped off its left arm. That's helpful. Uh, you still have a weapon. You're not adjacent to any Snapjaws right now. You're bleeding. We we got hit a little bit, but barely. Okay, we hit him for 10. Him, her. Yeah, we're doing well here. We're doing very well here. You're about to die. Okay. Uh, yes, we are now despised by Snapjaws. Um, that could potentially be a problem at our village, I'm realizing. Uh, whatever, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> Critical hit on us. All right, let's back up. Oh, we're bleeding? Uh, all right, we stopped bleeding. Okay. What do we got? Uh, I'll take the short bow. They, they're they good to sell. Do I take the leather armor? Well, I mean, we have no equipment right now, so we might as well grab more than we ordinarily would. Bronze battle axe? Eh, nah. Uh... Okay, yeah. We'll use that sap mask instead of the one we have. 
What do we got? Another short bow. I really hope the Snapshells in our village don't hate us. Chainmail. Three minus one. That is better than the ringmail. It weighs a lot, but we're strong. That works for me. All right. We have another uh, evasion point now. Nisakari banner. Am I? We have a sun veil, not a banner. That would be here, right? Yeah, might as well do the banner, right? Because this reputation with Isakari. The the Bernus, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have any special effects. Yeah. So we might as well wear the Isakari reputation boosting one. Okay. Uh, there was more over here, maybe? No, not really. Okay, let's go back home and hope... Oh! Killing Snapjaw Scavengers over here. Here's the Dromad Caravan. Lovely. Uh, we'll talk to you. What do you have? Hulk Honey. Uh, if you had a Carbide Axe, that might be nice. Um, I guess we might as well sell you things since you're here. Uh, might as well get copper nuggets. I don't think we want anything else from you. I mean, the Hulk honey may be good. We are... Here. Uh, the Hulk honey um, adds... Oh, it's congealed. It's not an injector. So it just adds strength baked based effects to quick meals. Yeah, never mind. I don't care about that. Um, I could get more steel arrows are always good to get. Yeah. And then... Okay. You know what? We could use more water. We only have eight drams of water. So this will give us a few more. Is there anything else I want to sell for water? No, I think we're good. Oh, uh, right. Armor. I think all this armor. Uh, except that vine wood sap mask. Uh, yeah. Cool. And we get 10 drams of water. Very nice. Great. Now we have nothing to sell... Uh, at our base, but that's okay. We can just go get the experience. Oh, right. What am I doing? Uh, we have a recoiler. Oh, and I noticed um, our recoiler has no cell in it. What? I did not mean to do whatever that just did. Um... But we have a bronze sword that has a trinket in it we never identified, but I can remove it. And I don't know what kind it is, but we can put it in this recoiler. No cells that fit. I guess we need to identify that trinket. All right, I guess we're walking back. Uh... Well, I didn't mean manually walk back. I meant walk on the overworld map, but we'll kill these snapjaws. Get a few things to sell. Are there more snapjaws here? There are. Okay. Uh, overworld map. Let's go back to our home. We're lost and swimming. Let's go down. It's a lot of water. It's a whole lot of water. Okay. Better. I'm glad there's no drowning mechanic in here yet. 
Although I would not be surprised if at some point there is. Um, I think the only thing we really need to be scared of here is crocodiles, and they're not too, shouldn't be too tough for us at this point. I'm heading in the direction of our base. Oh, a lair we found. That's lovely. Now, oh, hello, crocodile. Um, I think I can just hit you. Yeah, I killed you. Um, and we got rock croc meat. Lovely. Wow. I feel like all that attacking, it's it's uh, a little distracting with that new user interface, right? Um, I could also be looking for stuff to harvest since I'm here. Since I'm outdoors. And we have harvestry. I'm also kind of curious. Is that fresh water? No. Uh, do I have stuff I want to wash? I have a bloodstained crocosins. So let's clean them. No, I want to clean them in the... Maybe if I step in the water? No. Oh, apparently I apparently I used the fresh water to clean them. I didn't even... It's not what I intended to do. Um, I think I... Uh, some of the arrow keys do stuff I do not intend. That clockwork beetle is hostile. Um, I think we can take it. All right, we cleaved it. Why is it mobility impaired? Oh, we chopped off its forefoot. Okay, and that didn't take our dismember action, so we can dismember again, although I missed. Oh, sweet. Um, that died, but now there's another one. Uh, ooh, wow. That, they sound terrible. Um, heal up. Okay. We're getting close to level six. The new experience bar is very nice. Uh, we should eat. I'm just kind of exploring around. I, I have no intention of, like, finding the legendary dragonfly. But you can find... Ah, here's the chest. Arrows, a leather apron. Sure, whatever. Take that. Yeah. And maybe we'll find more in this room. If we can find an entrance. Ooh. Ooh. That one's bloodstained. I don't want to fight two at the same time. I think there are, I think there were three. Uh, we're just faster than they are. I think we're just going to walk away. Okay. I do want to see what's in here. Uh, so far nothing exciting. Nope, nothing exciting. All right, I, I guess, uh, right, we still can't fast travel. So let's just get out of here. And these beetles don't even give us that much experience. What is this? Um, this thing. Wet rubble. Okay. Not seeing anything to harvest. Oh, I, I'm, I am. Yeah, yeah. I, I just harvested a divine wafer. Okay. All right. Regain our bearings. Too much water. Let's get it. Uh, let's go. Back home. All right, let's uh, finish this quest. And then we'll talk to the tinker. And sorry, just seeing what that yellow was. It was the zealot. Um, and getting our fidget, our, uh, our fidget, our cell uh, identified. We found the hallowed water skin. 
Thank you for your service, Traveler. Our village owes you a debt. For now, please choose a reward. The Copper Defender knows the divinity of the contemplation of the act of procreating. Hmm. Uh, okay. Cool. That's, yeah, that brings us to level six. Four hit points. One to each attribute. Very nice. And our uh, mutation proct. Multiple arms is nice. Electrical generation. Interesting. So we already have like an electrical pulse. And this would also be cool. Electrical charge that you can discharge at will. But I feel like for our character, because we're berserker with axes that cleaves, I feel like having multiple arms would be better. An extra set of arms. And with an 8% an eight percent chance for each extra arm to deliver an additional melee attack. That sounds awesome. So we're doing that. Um, hmm. I feel like with our strength, we don't really need the small sphere of negative weight. Schrodinger page is nice. It increases your reputation with a faction. Um... I don't remember what the structural scanning bracelet does, but I kind of want it. I think we're going to get that. Cool. Folks like us. Um, let's get this thing identified. Actually, uh, no, we don't have any attribute points. We have 200 skill points. Our strength is 28. We no longer have negative willpower or intelligence. Um, one more point in agility or toughness, and we get bonuses there. So yeah, I think we're going to wait until we get 300, and then hopefully we'll have 29 strength at that point. All right, let's talk to the Tinker. Hello. Um, oh, we have two artifacts. All right, well, this trinket we know is the chem cell. Or not chem cell, it's a cell of some kind. Uh, we don't have a ton of water, but we can sell things just for water. All right, it is a chem cell. We'll identify this now. 16 drams to identify that. All right, well, I'm, I am going to sell what we have to sell here. But that's a lot of water. It's a whole heap and helping of water. Uh, I think we just hang on to it then. I don't know. Uh, offer. Give me the water. How much? 16? No, that's that's almost all of our water. We can't. It's too much. I mean, I could sell more things. I could get rid of our copper nuggets. But it's nice to have them. Um, you know what? I'll sell one. And identify it. Do it. Oh, that's our structural scanning bracelet. Of course. All right, I'm an idiot. Um, okay. Uh, right, we have extra arms and hands now. Pretty awesome. We need to get some more axes. <laughs> uh, where are the tools? No. Artifacts? Yes. Oh, and there's a trinket in it. All right, I guess we got to identify that as well. It's, I don't, you know, playing a character with not high intelligence is not that fun uh, when it comes to this stuff. Um, all right, it's a fidget cell. Cool. That's nice that we have that. I will equip it on one of our arms. Um, the structural scanning bracelet, what exactly does it do? A wrist-mounted display device that gives a detailed readout on the structural integrity of simple inanimate objects in its surroundings. If I use the chem cell there, I don't want to... Maybe we put the fidget cell in there in a minute once it charges up. Uh, I don't know if just by having a cell in there it uses power. Yeah, we'll leave things as they are. Um, while we're here, we should eat. Where is the oven? There it is. 
All right, so now we need to decide what we want to do um, next. We have just the two... We have the quest to go to the Six Day Stilt, and then the next quest to go to Grid Gate. Um, now, we do have the mutation for Electromagnetic Pulse, which should help us at Grid Gate a bit. But I think I still want um, to grind a little. I think. We could also... We may have enough reputation here. We have so little water. Uh, we might be able to recruit someone here. If we wanted. If we wanted. Um, but the thing is... Last time we did that... Um, companions have a tendency to get you into trouble. I think I might only want a companion... If the companion doesn't have magic. Like, if we could get, like, a legendary baboon or something like that. Then maybe. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be bad to get just, like, a pig farmer or something. Or a water vine farmer. Uh, we can't. We could, we could only do one that we could use our reputation points on. I'm pretty sure we have decent... Re uh, we have a lot of reputation here possibly enough to recruit like the mayor or something which we've done before but i don't think we want to do that i think we get into too much trouble when we have companions and this character i don't think needs one i say that but watch us watch us die yeah i don't want to use the water ritual we're a little low all right so where are we gonna go do we just do some exploration uh maybe do I have any... Or do we just go up to the Six Day Stilt? We don't have a lot... We don't have any books. You know, the last episode when we started a character that got a lot of books, that character died. So no books to exchange for experience there. We don't have a lot of money or anything. Uh, or even stuff to sell. Maybe we just troll around looking for ruins we could go to the rust wells the rust wells are a place that you go to fairly early when you start at uh, yafo in the default starting location we could go there um we could also go back to red rock couldn't we uh why did we flee red rock I don't remember. Harvest of Vine Wafer. I don't remember why we fled Red Rock. Um, our gloves are cracked. That's okay. Oh, our fidget cell is already full? Is that what it said? Great. Um, let's put it in here. Oh, and I can equip this on a... On an arm. Neat. It beeps. It beeps? Can I get like a reading or something? Show effects. It indicates that its startup sequence will take an estimated three more rounds. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, it dings. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Okay. I don't know what that did, but we'll leave it in there for now. Uh, I'll pick up these arrows. Yeah, do I go back to Red Rock? There are more arrows over here. I'm a sucker for... Uh... Oh, we can harvest some witch wood here. Can't I? Looked harvestable. I guess not. Um, well, maybe it's red when it's harvestable. We can't go down anymore. We're at the bottom of the map. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was a sleeping... Right, right, right. It was a slumberling. So I'm pretty sure we don't want to go back there. We cannot fight a slumberling. 
we don't want to fight it. Ouch. We don't want to fight a slumberling. I'll uh, dismember you. Awesome. Rock rock meat. Wonderful. Oops. I just realized, I think I can... This pool. Clean all your items. That's how you do it. So I can clean everything in the pool of salty water. Aha! All right, we're out of that swamp area. Oh, and we find a wall. Salt hopper, dismember you. Let me back up. Um, I'll fight you again. Okay, good. What do we got? Nothing exciting. Is our... Yeah, boar skin gloves are no longer cracked. I don't know how that stuff gets healed like that. Oh, since I have the structural... Yeah. So having this bracelet shows me that this shale wall has 200 out of 200 hit points, 10 armor, and minus 10 evasion. It is not it is not evading anything. Um, okay. So that's what it does. Not that exciting. Definitely something we can put on... Um, situationally. So I think I will take it off. Uh, I do not want to be near that kudzu. Uh, charge at you. Actually gave me a decent amount of hit points, uh, experience points there. An Equimax. We still are lost, right? Yeah. That's a lot of cleaving. Minus three cleave. Up. Oh. Heal up. Right halfway to level seven. Seed spitter somewhere around here. Ow. Where is it? What? Where's the seed spitter? Wherever it was, I think the crow killed it or something like that. Star apple trees. There you are. Ooh. Is that boar different? Just bloody. Okay. Got hit by uh, young ivory. All right. Resto healed. <laughs> the boar and the turtle. You can see how hard the turtle's armor is. In fact, let me charge that turtle. I'll gang up on it. While it's ignoring me. Yeah, cleaving it, minus three. So that, that helps us cleave its armor. Minus four armor value now. That's going to help a lot with the turtle. What would we get? Oh, we didn't kill it, so we didn't get the experience. The boar killed it. Should have killed the boar first. I guess here's another opportunity. It's a lot of turtles and boars. Can you all fight each other again? Okay. Can I fight? Eh. Dismember. Oh, I chopped off its face. Nice. I don't like fighting two of these at once, but... All right, good. Our cleaving is very effective against these things. Nice. All right, we got a face. Uh, do we want to wear the face on our face? I think maybe. This gives us some heat resistance. 
and reputation with the Isakari, but the face gives us ego. And tortoises hate us. I guess we only need to wear it when we're doing ego things. When we're, like, selling whatnot. But I'm glad we finally have a face. Thought we'd get a face much earlier. Um, hello. All right, what do we chop off? Your mid-leg. Come here, boars. Okay. Got some boar meat. Are we still lost? Okay, good. Um, so yeah, let's check out the rust. Oh. We ran out of water. Uh, okay. That's not great. Oh, but we found something here. I think what we really need is a caravan. It is very bad that we are thirsty. Um, maybe there's someone here we can sell stuff to. I might have gotten very lucky here. It's been a long time since I ran out of water. Uh, so I... All right, there is someone. Oh, maybe I shouldn't harvest if... Yeah, you're an apple farmer. Okay. You can sell me water. Okay, this is very good. What a lifesaver. Um, I'll give you a couple of copper nuggets for 20 drams of water. How about that? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, thank you, sir. Saved us. Really saved us there. We got very lucky. All right, to the rust wells. All right, we got bears. And we got baboons. The bear is hostile. The baboons are hostile. Okay. Uh, we can charge you. Yeah, the baboons, for the most part, are going to be pretty easy. I think the bears will be, too. They give us 12 XP each. Yeah, not a lot. But they're doing a little bit of damage here. Okay. Ouch. All right, healed up. Nice. Can you? Are you going to come at me? Yeah, come at me. Oh, we need to eat. Um. Okay. Can I eat something in our inventory? How about some bear jerky? Nice. All right, let's charge you. Good. Raw bear meat. All right, can I now make camp? Good. Whip up a meal. Heal up. We are sated. We are quenched. And we should put in a cut. So I think we're going to troll around the rust wells for a little bit. Um, see what we can find. And just do a little more grinding. Maybe explore... Um, explore around the area. Maybe try to find some runes or something like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep going. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.